I'm the Grand Marshal Jill Dixon, and I would like to call to order the Master's Commencement Ceremony of the School of Management of the State University of New York at Binghamton. We welcome you to join vocalist Kelsey Watts and the members of the Binghamton University Wind Symphony performing our national anthem from the Osterhout Concert Theater in the Anderson Center for the Arts. <laughs> As president of Binghamton University, it is my great pleasure to welcome you this evening. Before we proceed with our ceremony, I would like to welcome members of the Binghamton University Council who are joining us today. They will stand as I call their names. Catherine Grant Madigan, Chair. Linda Beamer. Franklin Richards, Student Representative. I would also like to introduce our other special guests who sit with us on stage this evening. Donald Neiman, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs. Laura Bronstein, Dean, College of Community and Public Affairs. Upender Dillon, Dean, School of Management. Sheila Doyle, Executive Director, Binghamton University Foundation. Jill Dixon, Grand Marshal, University Librarian for Public Services and Collections. Chair, Faculty Senate. Karen Jones, Vice President of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. Celia Klin, Dean, Harper College of Arts and Sciences. John Cook, Vice President for Advancement. Pamela Mission, Platform Party Marshal, Associate Professor, Public Administration, Faculty Advisor to the President. Mario Ortiz, Dean, Decker College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Bhagat Samakia, Vice President for Research. Hari Srihari, Dean, Thomas J. Watson College of Engineering and Applied Science, Executive Vice Provost for International Initiatives, and Chief Global Affairs Officer, Distinguished Professor, System Science and Industrial Engineering. I would also like to thank the Binghamton University Wind Symphony, our vocalist, and the Edmund, Edward P. Maloney Pipe and Drum Band for their participation in today's celebration. Thank you. <clears throat> Today, we are taking time to recognize one of the most distinguished classes in Binghamton University's history, the class of 2020. 
This has been a remarkable year for a remarkable class, marked most notably by the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic also postponed well-deserved recognition until today. So let me begin by extending to this class congratulations for a job well done. And thanks as well to the faculty who have played such an important role in mentoring, teaching, and guiding our graduates. I also want to extend my thanks to all the parents and family members whose support and compassion have been crucial in the success of our students. Your role is noteworthy this year. As students returned home in mid-semester, unexpectedly competing for space and bandwidth when classrooms went dark. Indeed, if your family is anything like mine, you have found that these past few months have brought you together, perhaps sometimes more than you wanted. The pandemic has transformed our families and friendships, in some ways weakening the bonds we have by limiting us to Zoom calls and socially distanced gatherings. This has been particularly hard on our elders, our grandparents and aunts and uncles who cherish the accomplishments of our graduates, but in many cases are unable to personally convey their love and congratulations. But paradoxically, the pandemic has also strengthened these bonds, as many of us suddenly found ourselves together as a family again, with everyone pulled together under one roof. At my house, this meant that was once an empty nest is now a crowded dwelling with grandparents, that's Kathy and me, my daughter and her spouse, and two marvelous grandchildren, Iris five and Maya two. Suddenly, the entire workday has been thrown into an uproar with entirely new routines and rituals. Ordinarily, I'm a morning person. I get up, do my emails, get some exercise, prepare for the day. Not so much anymore. Today, a typical day finds me awake early, as always, but by five, Iris is up and playing with a dog and her toys while I read email. About an hour later, two-year-old Maya enters the room like a tornado, pulling the dog's tail and saying good morning to Grandpa. And of course, breakfast is an all-family treat, one that I never got to experience in the pre-pandemic days. The start of my day is much less productive, but the memories will be worth it. I hope that all of you have found as much joy working from home as I have. And today, we are here to celebrate the culmination of all that work at home. I know that the class of 2020 graduates have waited eagerly to be formally recognized for their achievements, so today is a great day. But I also understand that each of you is missing the camaraderie and friendship of a traditional in-person commencement. I want you to know that I miss seeing all of you too. I hope that each of you will reach out to your colleagues to congratulate and wish them the best as they move into the next chapter of their lives. But here we are, wherever here might be. So what does it mean to graduate or commence from this university? Historically, recipients of the baccalaureate degree are acknowledged to have a level of expertise that will allow them to advance or commence in their chosen profession, adding to the quality of life we lead as global citizens. Similarly, a master's degree signifies a deeper study of a field or discipline, a mastery of the subject, suitable to teach others. Congratulations to all of you on your remarkable accomplishment. This is the culmination of a long and challenging journey, a journey filled with the excitement of exploration and discovery, the guidance of faculty mentors, and the friendship of colleagues and peers. Let's think back to the start of your journey, to your first days at the university. 
For those entering as first year students fresh out of high school, you began by choosing a field of study, nursing, or history, or engineering, or you decided to follow the most popular major, undeclared. Our graduate students, of course, already had a degree, only to discover that the more they knew about their field, the more there was to know. But every one of you was excited to tease out, tease out connections between apparently unrelated disciplines or points of inquiry, with your studies becoming broader and deeper. Your research became more exacting, your scholarship more penetrating, and your creativity more vibrant and thought-provoking. In other words, you discovered a passion. What I've discovered, and I hope you have too, is that developing a passion involves hard work. You must deeply engage yourself in a subject, learning its inner workings, and investing your time and intelligence. And I hope that Binghamton has given you the tools to find your passion, one that you will continue to renew and rediscover. And in so doing, let Binghamton inform your future years. I'm so proud of Binghamton University's graduates and the education you have received. Your nation and the world need your talents. Today, more than ever, we need nurses in our hospitals, social workers in our schools, and leaders in government and industry who combine expertise and compassion in their daily work. We need teachers to impart knowledge to the next generation, engineers to develop technologies that save and sustain, artists and poets who challenge us to do better and who show us a new lens through which we can view the world. But most, most of all, we need people who are committed and engaged practitioners, working to make society better, one decision at a time. Today, we face great challenges, a pandemic to overcome, and perhaps most pressing, a world turning warmer, leaving political, cultural, and social turmoil in its wake. Challenges like these will require the work and imagination of people in a wide range of fields and disciplines, working together across international borders, people with skills and expertise, and most of all, a passion for solving challenging puzzles. People just like you. I look forward to learning of your many future successes and hope that you will remain steadfast members of the Binghamton University community. Congratulations to all of you. It is now my pleasure to introduce Provost Donald Neiman. Thank you, President Stenger. Good evening, everyone. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to our first ever virtual commencement and to congratulate you, members of the class of 2020. I really wish we were doing this in person, and I know that you and the special people in your lives wish we were too. But we're all getting used to doing things virtually these days to keep one another safe. You are a remarkable group of students. At the time you applied to Binghamton, you demonstrated that you had the academic ability to succeed at one of the best universities in the United States. And since you arrived on our campus, you've not only shown that you are very bright, you have also demonstrated that you are hardworking, intellectually curious, and eager to make the most of what this great university has to offer. You have demonstrated an amazing ability to roll with the punches during what was a tumultuous end to your years at Binghamton. But even with the uncertainties caused by the pandemic, 
you have shown that you have a great sense of humor, like to have fun, and care deeply about serving others. You embody the balance that makes Binghamton University such a wonderful place to work and study. Like all of us, you are facing great uncertainty at a time when you are ready to start new jobs or begin graduate school. But I can assure you that your Binghamton University education will help you deal with the uncertainty and enable you to succeed in the months and years to come. It has been a pleasure to have you as our students. Congratulations on your many accomplishments and the many accomplishments that are yet to come. I'm now pleased to introduce Mary Beth Curtin, alumna and emerita member of the Alumni Association Board of Directors. Mary Beth would like to share congratulations with you on behalf of the Alumni Association. Congratulations to you, the class of 2020. On behalf of the Binghamton University Alumni Association, it is my pleasure to congratulate you on your impressive accomplishments. As an alumna and a past member of the university's Alumni Association Board of Directors, I want to welcome you to a very proud, loyal, and increasingly global alumni family. About 150,000 alumni live and work around the world, and that number is quickly growing. And with your class, we will add nearly 5,000 to our ranks. As you can well imagine, it is strange to be up here on this podium speaking to an empty room. I'm pretending you're all here trying to listen politely while you count the hours until you can celebrate with family and friends. We are all sad that we couldn't come together in May to share the day with you. However, this is still your time to shine, to reflect on what the past four years of hard work, relationships, and yes, laughter, have brought to your life and to your future. I do hope that this is a year where you have still found things to celebrate, where you have tapped the inner recesses of your imagination to find joy, comfort, love, and friendship during a time when it is just as easy to feel sadness and frustration. Yes, it is a challenging time, and we are all realizing how important it is to draw on our inner reserves. As alumni, higher education is now an integral part of who you are. It is a strength which will sustain you in the days ahead as you search for meaning and connection in your world. When you ask yourself, when I look back on this time 20 years from now, what will I have learned? How will I remember myself? Did I create opportunity through the circumstances around me? I hope that you will draw on your new role as a Binghamton alum. So I want to give you a charge today, specifically four steps to guide you in the days ahead. Number one, display your diploma with pride. Number two, be informed. Follow Binghamton on social media and make sure that your up information is up to date in our directory. Participate in our virtual learning, online events, and mentorship opportunities. Number three, remain involved. As the world returns to normal, come to campus. Participate in alumni events around the country. Sign up, show up, and develop a network of relationships with your fellow alumni, because there is no telling whom you might meet if you step out of your comfort zone and participate. And lastly, number four, make new Binghamton connections. When you come across another graduate out in the world, use that common bond as an opportunity to open a door. In a time when we are all recreating our stories, I ask you to stay engaged, to create the best version of yourself, and to make your mark on the world as a proud alum of Binghamton University. Welcome to our alumni family. Thank you.
Thank you, Mary Beth. It is now my pleasure to introduce Upender Dillon, Dean of the School of Management. Class of 2020, congratulations. Under better, better circumstances, I would have liked to celebrate this occasion in person. Nevertheless, I'm delighted to be here to celebrate your graduation with this virtual ceremony. The entire School of Management is with you on this joyous occasion. I'm proud to say that Binghamton graduate education today is recognized among the top accounting and MBA programs in the nation. We believe that you, our graduates, are also among the best. Your Binghamton education has prepared you to be successful leaders in business and society. Early in my career, I learned that it's important to understand the lives of the people that work for you. Treat others with respect, and they will respect you. Leadership is all about sacrifice and improving the lives of others, particularly in a crisis such as the current pandemic. When you turn your opportunities into influencing the lives of others, you will be true leaders in society. As you prepare for your future, there are trends that are going to provide significant opportunities and challenges. Perhaps the most significant is the growing role of data analytics, artificial intelligence, and machine learning in accounting and business. The World Economic Forum's Jobs of Tomorrow's report forecasts that the fourth industrial revolution will generate seven key emerging professional clusters. One set of clusters is focused on job growth due to the adoption of new technologies. The other set are focused on increased demand in the care economy related to the continuing importance of human interactions in the new economy. The report estimates that these clusters will create an additional 2.4 million jobs in 2022. Increasingly, firms are using technology to drive business decisions. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are taking over such tasks as audits, taxes, financial statement analysis, and equity research. Thus, firms are seeking recruits with these higher order skills. The good news is that you have started the process of acquiring some of these technical and cross-functional skills by earning your graduate degree from Binghamton. However, this is just the beginning. As we cope with a continually evolving and complex global economy, the most successful individuals are those that learn to adapt to these trends. You, your friends, and family should be very proud of you today. We are proud of you. Congratulations. <laughs> President Stenger, if you will join me now. As Dean of the School of Management, I am pleased to present to you candidates who have fulfilled their master's degree requirements as prescribed by the faculty. For those who have successfully completed all degree requirements by the authority vested in me by the Chancellor and the Board of Trustees of the State University of New York and the Board of Regents of the University of the State of New York, I am pleased to recognize conferral upon each of these graduates the appropriate master's degree 
with all the rights and privileges accompanying it. On behalf of the Binghamton University community, I congratulate you all for this well-earned accomplishment. At this time, I would like to introduce Kelsey Watts and members of the Binghamton University Wind Symphony once again for the Binghamton University alma mater. At this point, we would typically be congratulating you as you cross the stage to receive your diploma. However, this year, due to the unusual circumstances, we will proudly display each of your names and degrees to conclude this virtual ceremony. To our class of 2020, congratulations. Tim Abdel Karim, Snehith Thomas Abraham, Eileen Acker, Adiemi Michael Adebayo, Michael Eddie Adepietro, Tyler Joshua Alexander, Matthew Robert Allen, Brian Thomas Amato, Gerardo Amigan, Chi An, Patrick Andrew Anderson, Benjamin Foster Appleman, Alexa Lynn Aruto, Stavros Aspru, David William Ogre, Peter Alexander Benta, 
Philip Varesi. Karen Sophia Bazakos. Stephen Becker. John McAuliffe Berlardini. Alexandra Elaine Bennett. Victoria J. Bertolini. Shirley Vesselelli. Mark James Bukiller. Paul Bevilacqua. Sarah N. Bay. Tyler John Borenkoff. Carla Rose Briscoe. Angela Catherine Bruzzi. Franco Robert Bucciarelli. Miles Edward Burbank. Tyler Joseph Burns. Matthew David Burroughs. Jack Fuller Calzarete. Kinnan M. Kanpulat. Lauren Nicole Capelli. J.C. Ann Cartolano. Daniel Casey. Daniel Joseph Catalina. Spencer Chemau. Jacob Chanofsky. Fiona Chen. Shirley Chen. Xu Chen. Yan Chen. Yi Shu Chen. Matthew Sinamo. Jonathan Emery Collins. Luis Hortensio Costa. William Crabble. Huiling Chui. Madeline Elizabeth Darstein. Nicholas Stephen DeFranco. Daisy Joanna DeMassi. Wolfram Dennis. Sagar Desai. Christopher Joseph Dest. Aisatu Diallo. Kwang Mei Deng. Adrian Thomas Doherty. Kyle Andrew Dragonet. Tarkit Dua. Jordan Elizabeth Dundas. Christopher Boz Durant. Nikki Summer Dworkis. Zachary Neil Dyer. Christian Edward Echevarria. Gina F. M. Jose Carlo Tapopinco Escobar. Sam Esmaili. Maria Matty Espin. Nicholas Martin Evanoski. Brendan Christopher Faherty. Natalie Kate Fargo. Austin Fasano. Farshid Fazel. Eric Lorenzo Ferrari. Neil Patrick Dalida Flores. Colleen Elizabeth Flynn. Connor Rogan Fogler. Nicholas Angelo Foray. Jesse Lewis Fox. Jordan Oliveira Fox. Corey J. Friedman. Victor Emilovich Gaitor. Christopher Ryan Gale. John Gallagher. Akash Darshan Gandhi. Danny Jr. Garcia Fernandez. Nathaniel Raphael Bender Gerhardt. Chloe Neil Germain. Tyler 
James Jamunko, Faith Noel Jian, Amy Dana Gimpel, Jason Vanjunta, Alex Daniel Gold, Alden Anthony Gonzalez, Anthony Edward Governale, Kevin Michael Hall, Mitchell John Halpern, Mark Edward Hammerschmidt, Kyle Lewis Harris, Kevin James Hatch, Jared Bennett Hirsch, Joseph Andrew Hoffman, David Charles Hollingshead, Garrett Daniel Holmes, Jacob Taylor Hunsinger, Allison J. Hopper, Jui Lin Huang, Michael Huang, Sabrina Huang, Gabriella Marie Huben, Darren T. Hutchings, Joseph Ayanello, Muhammad Sadiq Ibrahim, Daniel Scott Inga, Devin Taylor Jackson, Myra Alexandra Jaden Rizaka, Kyung In Ji, Pai Fan Jung, Jen Jiang, Deja Marie Jones, Jenna Rachel Kaminsky, Kute Karaka, Daniel Kaufman, Jacob Kaufman, Kevin Scott Kawakami, Christina Grace Keefe, Catherine Amanda Kiesler, Brian Joseph Kehoe, Peter Lawrence Kenigsberg, Brian Samuel Kenigsberg, Max Brandon Klein, Dante Christopher Knox, Jefferson David Kutsantanu, Thomas Martin Krusen, Alan Krivorutsky, Raslene Kaur Koryeha, Christopher Ian Kuletsa, Andrew Kunov, Marcus Lamb, Alexandra Grace Lambrosa, Kyle Patrick Lawrence, Amy Christine Lee, Austin Lee, Daniel Levine, Joshua Trevor Levine, Benjamin Scott Levy, Brian J. Lewis, Xin Liang, Tony Lin, Jacob Alex Lipton, Michael Lisa, Matthew Lysia, Ke Liu, Xu Liu, Ying Liu, Hunter C. Long, Brianna Felicia Losak, Madison Elizabeth Lowe, Mark Ma, Alana Ellen Rita Mann, Daniel Kevin Magnello, Rachel Mann, Samuel Ian Markowitz, 
Matthew John Martini Noel Dario Matos Alexandra Louise Maxian Megan Rose McCarthy Alec Shane McFeely Paul Robert McGee Connor Michael McGovern Stephen John McKenna Jordan McCrae Robert Matthew Mendelssohn Michael Anthony Mihalko Claudia Rose Miller Zachary Eric Mallo Michael Lawrence Marone Jeffrey T. Matis Emily Marie Maliesso Joseph Edward Mullen Thomas Patrick Murray Jenna Marie Mosto Angelica Naruski Shabnan Manazari Rebecca Nair Lian Ng An Nguyen David Rakamin Nickman Miriam Nussbaum Clare Rebecca H. O'Connell Samuel Connor O'Malley Valentina Oroshko Victoria Andre Osakowski Wyatt J. Parker Jia Yue Peng Bradley Perlswag Venkatesh Chowdhury Pinyamaneni Nicholas Michael Poltorek Bon Poncharon Matthew Paul Ponger Ryan J. Price Kelly Chu John Hao Chu Connor Questel Nicholas Anthony Rampersal Catherine Rangifo Daniel Joseph Ribadanier Juliana Marie Rosati Jocelyn Rosenthal Jacob Antonio Rosenzweig Emily Hogan Roth Justin Case Roth Tyler A. Rowe Daniel Rojhoff Christopher J. Rudin Nicholas John Russo Peter Michael Russo Shirley Samara Farhan Shahadi Sanyoto Ashley Serlanis Michael Bartolomeo Nicholas Savino Andrew David Scalia Zachary James Shepard Hilary Shire Stephen Blake Schiff Zachary Abraham Schreier Jackson J. Schwab Andrew Carter Seyfried Aditya Shah Sayed Omer Akbar Shah Wenjing Shang Yuja Shang Karen Shen Robert Harry Siegelbaum Brian Simpson Gabrielle Lee Cicino Caitlin Marie Slater Sydney Elizabeth Slutchin 
Emily Suckelson, Ezra J. Solomon, Veronica H. Stanich, Julia Stites, Jonathan Daniel Stevens, Leah G. Stupas, Joanne Tsewei Swin, Whitney Sun, Yun Sun, Ashiwarya Sundar, Justin Scott Svitek, Eric Swerden, Yalan Tan, Jessica Catherine Tenenzap, Nolan Richardson Thenar Kwame, Midhun Thomas, Joseph Stephen Tomasino, Aaron Marie Toomey, Rebecca Elizabeth Trackman, Claire Dai Tran, Sarah Jean Tuttle, Joel John Uralil, Tyler Alexander Vallette, Nyoka Shusha Vassal, Stephanie Rose Vayner, Nathaniel Frederick Walker, Jennifer Lynn Wandner, Jia Chen Wang, Yu Chi Wei, Harrison Lee Weilbacher, Lana Michelle Weinstein, Nicole Marie Wentz, Richard James Whalen, Sarah Jane Elizabeth Weed, Tyler G. Wigman, Nicole Danielle Williams, Ryan Matthew Winkoff, Elizabeth Melissa Waldring, Jennifer Lee Wolf, Connor P. Wright, Peng Yu Wu, Tony Junying Wu, Ni Xia, Alan Xu, Xiao Tian Xu, Saimi Yamasaki, Shendan Yan, Bi Ying Yang, Chao Yang, Jenny Yang, Yao Yao, Hiai Jen Yun, Darren Fugu Yu, Timothy Yu, Yi Meng Yu, Yung Chang Yu, Kyle Jonyun Yuan, Charles James Yun, Jacob Zhao, Han Zhang, Huan Ya Zhang, J. Rui Zhao, Xuan Yu Zhang, Ye Yu Zhang, Lu Zhao, Henry Chen, Si Yuan Zhu, Ethan Zhu, Jonathan Matthew Zuckerberg.
The 2020 commencement proceedings of the State University of New York at Binghamton are now concluded. Thank you for joining us. Twenty twenty in the books. <laughs> <laughs>